come on. I'm so traumatized from Marilyn taking the keys from us that I have a feeling this key isn't going to work. Oh man, that'd be so tragic. We're at the new warehouse. I can't believe it. We actually have the keys. One day before George and I head to Florida, we got the keys to the brand new warehouse space. I can't wait to see what's inside. This story has been going on for over a year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half battle. I can't even believe it. All right, so the next question is, where do you put all this stuff? Well, we just had to upgrade the warehouse space because we have too much right now. We do have two employees working for us as well. We give them 25% commission. Anything they sell, they get 25% of. It's that easy. It's easy money. And so everything we just procured is this huge warehouse space. Anything that's over there, that all has to be removed still. And we bring it right off the truck and it goes into the warehouse spacing. And the other thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna do garage sales right here on site. And so people can come to the actual industrial area, pick things up, piece of cake, right? I know what you're thinking, Jeremy, your editing skills were incredible back in 2018. Hey, hang on tight because we're gonna keep flashing back. Location is going to be absolutely incredible. There's a lot of rural areas around here, but there's a lot of people that need storage space. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about that later, but even look across the street here. Look at this. How cool is this? This is an entire tractor salvage yard. I mean, if you've got farm equipment, if you've got a tractor and you need a part, this whole area here, I mean, this just, just this is we might even just call it a museum. It's that stinking cool. And then the property right over here. So obviously we can use this for business, right? I mean, we're going to be just fine using it for business. A lot of people said, Christian, you know what they said? They said uh, we should build you and patients a house right here. <laughs> Did you ask that girl to marry you yet? No, not yet. Okay. All right. Better get on that. The entire 3.2 acres, you can see the fencing right here, is already all fenced. Everything is fenced in and it's nice and clear. We can put up storage units like that. Boom, row, 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 row. Not your boat. Rows and rows of storage units to generate a lot of income, to have a lot of impact as we try and restorage the love. This is gonna be a phenomenal area. Let's go check inside the building, see if they left us anything. We head to the warehouse. We're passing the Salvation Army right here. So a lot of homeless are right around the warehouse. As a matter of fact, they usually hang out here and we'll go over the bridge. So I'm just a stone throws away from where a lot of people go for help. And if we go over the bridge, there's what's called the Hope Center. And the Hope Center is a community effort as well. And nobody's there right now. I think it's Wednesdays and Fridays and Saturdays, right there, the Hope Center. They pass out food. Hope Center, warehouse, literally across the street. Two keys, I'm guessing this one. This one's probably to the enclosed pole barn. This one I'm guessing is to this lock right here. Look at these, it's kind of messed up the way this is all locked up. I think he locked it up a different way, but remember there was an auction here and I'm sure, I'm positive things were left behind. Things had to have been left behind. And you know, anything that's abandoned, that means who owns it, Christian? You do. Yeah, it's just like a storage unit. So this facility now operates as a storage unit. In regards to the same laws, same rules. Even though it was for, well, it was, it was for sheep before. Let's see, which, which, which building should we go to first? I don't know. Should we go to this one, that one, that look, there's stuff everywhere. We should check some of this stuff outside check the stuff outside okay yeah because there's stuff just sitting okay. here this is the one i'm hoping they left a lot of cool stuff there are a lot of expensive tools all kinds of cool treasures but let's check out here first okay all right you seeing what i see already like uh, yeah maybe <laughs> what are you seeing i've seen trash cans ah you're seeing exactly what i'm seeing okay they left us a ton of trash <laughs> okay always nice of them right uh, what are we going to do with all this, Christian? Look, there's the bid numbers, woodworking. Okay, the trash can, 
We want the trash can, don't we? Yeah. Okay, we always want trash cans. Let's see what else they left us. Um, pieces of wood. These, I think, are feed buckets. Oh, look at that right there. That's feed it, buckets, it, right? Isn't that to dry? Wait. Isn't that a drying thing? I don't know. For drying, uh, like, see. oil? Instant whip nope. concentrated topping. Okay. All right. I don't know what it's for. It's whipped cream. It's a whipped cream bucket. Should I smell it? I think that was for the animals. Let's try another one. Let's try another bucket. Okay, there's something in here too. This one's labeled something. Wait, what's that one say? Sheep food, one sweet peas, one sheep feed. That looks like food. We got animal food here. Okay. Not even worth the money. We have animal food. All right. Bonus. Okay. So we got sheep food. We did say it was a sheep farm before, right? And oh, this might be good for eBay. What do you think? It might not work anymore, but no, maybe not. We could try. MFM. Who makes it? Who makes it? Um, UL. I don't know. You're probably right. That's probably not the best thing. But look at this. Look at this. Boot scraper. Ooh. Yes or no? For what? eBay? For our boots. Oh yeah, keep that. Okay, so we'll keep that. And then we got, this is a steel drum. Wait, no, is that a bottom? Steel drum, no bottom. But another garbage can, check that out. Okay, I'm, I'm happy about that. That's good. We'll flip that over. We definitely are gonna need that. So definitely um, some containers. Are we gonna be able to use anything for these containers? Like, I don't know. We're running, we've like, run out of totes, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're completely out of totes. We use totes as a numbering system. So let's say you, 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 you put this thing on eBay, it's in tote 120. That's how you find out where it is. Once you sell it, you go and look at 120. We're out of totes. How many totes are you guys up to right now? I think 140 something. Okay, we ran out of 140 something. Now we're gonna use sheep buckets. Are these all, look at that, there's stuff in all of them. I don't know what that could even be. I don't know either. I don't know. Let's check this one. Here's more. Look at that. That's a different stuff. Calcium. Okay. Tons of stuff. What should we do with this? I don't this know. This is a KT Custom Barn. I, I got to tell you, I did have a thought. Okay. So I'm guessing the sheep actually came in here. Are these rubber panels? some kind of panels i'm guessing the sheep actually came in here during inclement weather right yeah here's what i was thinking tell me what you think how cool would it be if we actually move this and we move it up front and every winter we do a nativity scene up front that would be pretty cool what the nativity right yeah okay so that's what i was thinking I don't, I don't, let me see if I can move this thing at all. You think I can budget? I, I think it's probably like in the ground. Okay, all right, all right, all right. It might be a little bit harder than you think it is. Might need some super George strength, but <laughs> um, that's kind of what I was thinking with this thing is that it would be really cool for a nativity scene. Come winter, there's a Hormel, some kind of food. Uh, oh, here's something else hidden. There's stuff hidden everywhere. Okay, it's an old hydrogen peroxide bottle, nailed in. Here's some cotter pins, lynch pins. They even left us the gas can. All right, let's go check some other stuff out. I've been leasing this warehouse space for over two and a half years. As a matter of fact, we're standing in the exact spot where I met Marilyn for the very first time. She was here with her insurance company. They were renewing rates, they had to do inspections, and the very first words that came out of her mouth, how much are you paying Brian rent every month? I said 400, she said great! You gotta believe that the insurance people are gonna be subpoenaed for that conversation. You thinking what I'm thinking? Fights? Okay, yeah, sword fights for sure, okay? So, me and you versus Patience and George? Sounds good. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah? Yeah, or, PVC's dangerous though. You know what we could do? We could take all this old PVC piping and we could get water here on the property. Now, come on, 
You gotta admit, we we do not have water yet, right? No. Still, this has got to be better than the old warehouse. Maryland shutting the water off on us, I right? Mean, at least we had we had okay. to, we had the pipes to get water there. We just it, didn't get it. It was so bad with Maryland. But one of the things we really seriously we could do is we could make uh, marshmallow guns out of this old PVC piping. I used to make marshmallow guns, and they were a ton of fun to play with. You see what else we got though? Another trash can. Trash can. And we lost all our other trash cans at the old warehouse with Maryland. Maryland made business, I mean, ultimately just the biggest pain in the world. She locked us out of the building, not once, twice. We had police there nonstop. She turned the power off. She turned the water off. We were locked out of our facility. We had no ability to actually generate income. Maryland did all of these things to us. And even then, even though we don't have a toilet yet, right? No. No toilet yet. Wait, what's this? I don't this, know. This might be our functioning outhouse. This is still better than the old warehouse. What do you think this is? I don't know. This, this, that's supposed to be what all the PVC was for, though. I'm not sure what, what it is. What do you think somebody would use this for? I honestly don't know. <laughs> I honestly have no clue. <laughs> One of the cool things though, is that we actually have another business right next to us. It's a welding fabricator business. And if we need them to weld anything at any time, I mean, we've needed welding on trailers and all kinds of stuff. Boom, right next door. Here's some more stuff, let's check this out. I think we got rolls of fencing. We do. Yep. We do. All right, not sure why, but there is roll. Well, there's a whole nother roll right there, right? Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot, there's a lot spread out here. Let's go check out this, this pole barn. Now this has three sides enclosed, one giant man door, which is awesome because when you get, when you're a giant man like I am, and you get a tote in your hands trying to get through a standard man door, that doesn't work very well. This is a giant man door. This is what? That's gotta be four foot wide? Yeah, something like that. Look at this, man. You can get anything through here. This is exciting to me. I mean, no, this is, I, that one's gonna be nice for carrying totes through. It's the small things that get me the most excited. Brand new, brand new. Now I think, I think he was stalling in here, right? Yeah. Oh, there goes the door. That's okay, that's okay, the door's good. Barn lime, all right. There's more lime, we saw that before, right? So we've got some more lime, we got some blocks, some bricks. Christian, you thinking what I'm thinking? Playing some tennis. Yeah, right out in the field. Yep, we, can set, up, we can set up that uh, the wire fence. Yeah, we'll set up, it's perfect. We'll set up the wire fence and we'll use rocks. We'll play tennis oh, with man. rocks. Oh that, man, that sounds dangerous. Okay, there's probably sheep poo here somewhere. We could yeah, use that Yeah, we can use that. So some tennis rackets, some bags. I mean, they definitely left stuff, old wood interesting to see what they actually did leave birdhouses i bet this was part of birdhouses and these are part of birdhouse feeders right i have no idea i'm pretty sure that is i'm pretty sure those are birdhouse feeders oh there you go for the birds right oh. there okay you know what this warehouse space is not for the birds i love it what's all this, this is for bird nice. birdhouses too right must have been starting to get into birdhouses too, along with the sheep. I bet you he was making them. I bet you he was making birdhouses. Look at that. Bird water right there. Oyster shells. You know what oyster shells are for? No. You feed that to chickens or to other birds that lay eggs. It helps strengthen the outer shell of the eggs. So it's actually a kind of nice thing. All right, so this is all for birds. I still love this warehouse. Okay, what's over here? Any extra wood that we could get is a bonus too. And there is extra wood here, although I'm not sure what we'll do with it. There's extension cords running everywhere. Yeah. Okay, there is power on the property. What are these for? Grays, HM, not sure what these are for. So we have power on the property. We have electric. Oh, you know what? I. I I got I transferred insurance. I got insurance on the property. I haven't transferred the electric yet. Although I did just get the keys. So I still need to do that. We don't have water. We don't have sewage. 
So what we're probably planning on doing is getting an actual, we're gonna get a, a porter potty, temporary, drill a well, and then put in a septic so that we can work out here comfortably. <laughs> or, you know what we could do? Go right into the bucket. That this is look still better than when we were with Marilyn. <laughs> still so much better. As Marilyn continues to try and push her business partner out, Brian, I'm stuck in the middle as a renter. Except her and her lawyer try to state to the local police that I'm not a tenant. Yet I have this certified letter from her lawyer that says your rent continues to be delinquent. Lease result in litigation. His words, not mine. Odd how you can tell somebody that their rent is delinquent if they're not a tenant and that you're gonna pursue litigation if they're not a tenant. Here's the issue, my rent is not delinquent. My rent goes to the joint business account, BMM Storage, every single month. It has never been late, it's always been there, it always will be there. And to get evicted, you have to go through the court system. Tis the season, look at that. Christmas trees. Two Christmas tree stands, that's pretty cool. We got extra wood over here. Oh, Christian, this is worth the purchase of the property right there. One tote. One tote. That's something we don't have right now, one tote. All right, what do you think these are? I don't know. Holy cow, they're concrete. Wow. They're concrete, they have ropes on them and bolts in them. What it's would for, you use this for? Uh, weighing a heavy bag down in the river. What are you doing weighing heavy bags down in the river? That's, that's for me to know and you to never to find out. All right. Must have been some traumatic times over there at Maryland's <laughs> warehouse. We got more piping. Okay. There was, there was hay or straw here at one time. We've got, I don't know, this must have been another cage or something. But probably the coolest thing in here, right here, we can put this on the back of a four-wheeler. It's all here. It's a spreader. And it's nice. brand stinking new. Look at that. Brand new, somebody left the spreader. Wow. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. This portion has already been closed in. And I think what he did is he just threw up some plywood, right? That doesn't move, right? Let's check. Yeah, this doesn't move. I think what he did is he just threw up some plywood to cut the wind from any animals in the stall. But what we'll end up doing is we're gonna concrete pad this, obviously. Three sides are already enclosed. And then we'll enclose the second side, but we're gonna do it with garage doors. And if we do it with large garage doors, we can still get the trucks in and out. We can get the trailers in and out. That's one of the things we need to do. We need to get the trailer from Worcester over here in the, the Smithville area out at the new warehouse property. And then we'll run power. You see, he's got extension cords. Extension cords from the main building running out here. We'll actually run actual power out here and we'll get good lighting in here. And this will be the first area of storage for everything eBay. We'll finally get it out of the apartments. <sighs> Actually kind of sound nice, doesn't it? It does sound nice. Yeah. You think you can get all the totes in here? If we're going to have to yeah. have shelving. We have to have shelving. Yeah. Which we sold everything because we got kicked out of the old warehouse. But um, one way or another, we're going to figure it out. Got to the warehouse this morning with Christian and Patience. There's Patience and there's Christian. And my key is not working in the door. So I, I gave it to Christian to see if he could solve this problem for me. And Christian is trying to get into the door. And uh, for some odd reason, we are completely and totally locked out of the warehouse. That's not working for you either? Nope. Okay, try the other key. The other key's to the other building, but... All right, all right. Let's go try and see if we can get in the other building. We have one key for this building and we have one key for this building. She locked me out. One key will go in the door here. One key will go in the door there, but the tumblers are changed. She locked us out. Time to call the police. Yeah. All right, calling the police. 
Brian, my building facility manager, he's on the phone with the sheriff department right now. So the building owner has changed all the locks and we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Number one, why? And number two, this is illegal. You can't do this as a building order, no owner unless you have a court order and the sheriff have to be there for you yeah, to change I'll the locks. So officer, right uh, now, we're gonna have the police out here. We're gonna see if we can get in the building. Now, just to be clear, I've always paid rent, correct? Rent's been paid every month, on time. And never ever missed a payment. Never. The only time I didn't pay is when Maryland did not pay the utilities. I had no electric, we didn't have any water. And even then, after that was put back on, I still paid the remaining balance, even though I didn't legally have to. Exactly right. So you just got off the phone with the local police? Yes. Okay. And they said, as long as we haven't been evicted, which we have not. No eviction. We have not been to court. We have not been served anything. Um, we have rights to the building, no matter how, which way we need to get in. I came in this morning, actually at noon, to get into my warehouse building, and the locks were changed. Can you tell me if the building owner actually uh, contracted the locks to be changed? You know, I've been nice to Marilyn up to this point, and I haven't pushed loss of income. Jeremy? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, we were out there. At that point, I'm not sure what's going on, but you'll have to talk to Marilyn. Okay, so Worcester, we we've already contacted Worcester Police, and she has okay. illegally changed the locks, and okay. she, there is no eviction notice. So my question is, will you come back and change them? She cannot legally change them without the eviction notice, and there is no eviction notice. And okay. Worcester police are already on this as well. She has illegally changed the locks. So Hold you can on, you can here, contact right? Worcester police as well. Hold on here, all right? Yes, thank you. If you're a landlord, you cannot do this. This is illegal. All right, Jeremy? Yes, ma'am. Okay, at this point, we need to hear from the landlord again, see what's going on. Um, we're kind of out of the loop on that. Okay. We were under the impression anything was going on. Can I have the Worcester police contact you directly? Uh, you can. The landlord, the landlord, I mean, isn't going to communicate with me, but I'm going to have the Worcester police contact you directly. What's going on? Why can't you guys communicate? Well, she obviously isn't communicating if I just got locked out of my facility. So what okay, she's... Can I call her? What she's attempting to do, I cannot, I can't call her. I have a letter from her lawyer that all communication is to be through her lawyer. So she's trying to push her partner out of the business. I am a tenant in the business that pays every single month. So there's a lot going on. Yep. There's a lot of issues that need to be sorted out, and we don't want involved in the middle of it. Okay. I'm uh, sorry this has happened, but yep. we need to know more what's going on. I okay. want to hear from her. I want to hear from the police. All right, I'm going to have Worcester police contact you, uh, and then and then I will try attempt contacting you back, okay? Okay. All right, thank Sounds you. Bye-bye. Ah. Here's the craziest part. Number one, I've paid every single month rent. Number two, as a tenant, I'm caught in between a partnership battle. And one partner has been extremely good. He's been great. The other partner hasn't paid utilities and now has changed the locks. Illegal without an eviction notice. Not only illegal without an eviction notice, illegal during these times in our world. No landlord can kick any tenant out of any place right now due to COVID-19. Marilyn, this is Jeremy Hales, tenant at... Well, hello. I would like my locks and my keys changed back as I am a paying tenant and you illegally... Uh, and you... Pain. You illegally pain. changed the locks. Call my attorney. Marilyn, Theater. I've already contacted the police. Well, I've, and, and I will be taking you for loss of income. You have illegally changed the locks. And I've been oh, more... Pain. I've been more been patient with you as you didn't pay utilities and now you've changed the locks and you are affecting my business come on i'm so traumatized from maryland taking the keys from us that i have a feeling this key isn't gonna work oh man that'd be so tragic you know what i you know what christian you do the honors go ahead oh, okay. you do the honors here we go here we go it turns are you serious it does it does turn. Oh, this is incredible. 
Oh, wow. What are we doing here? Oh, wow. We can get inside. We're actually inside our warehouse space. Oh, that's crazy, right? This, this is, um, how'd that feel? A door actually opening when you unlocked it. It was nice. It was I, I bet it was one of the best feelings in the world. It was. All right, I got Worcester police here at the warehouse now. So Marilyn must have called when what she's the one, she did the illegal things. So I'm gonna go figure out what's going on. We've got somebody else here as well. We got this individual here. There's Marilyn. So there's Marilyn who you've heard earlier. So this is the person that you've heard earlier. What I need to know is when I come down here to work tomorrow, is there going to be an issue? You told me I was trespassing. There's a trespassing order on me. I, was, I, was, I didn't say there was. Yes, you did. I recorded you. I, was, I have I, it I'm in recording. It trailers. What do I? Am I allowed on the property to get my trailers? Yeah, screw it. Well, well, from the law standpoint. Trespassing. So I would be. So is there a trespassing order currently? I'm, give, I'm telling you, you're not allowed on the property. Did, so did she? So when we leave here, did she file a trespass order? Yeah. So there is a trespass order already filed. Do you, do you want me to fill out a no trespass letter for you? No, you I don't think I need. I just need to know: did she actually file one or not? I did just receive a call from the officer on the scene. He contacted the Wayne County prosecutor. The prosecutor has shared that yes, I have every legal right to be in the building so tomorrow business as usual we have light well we have light in half the warehouse yeah it's okay um i don't know what that one's too okay so we own it we just don't know what everything goes to yet look at all the outlets outlet outlet uh whatever this thing is some kind of fan so this was kind of a tinkering farm and oh i just turned those off this was a tinkering farm and this was the shop oh you know what i bet you see all those lights above you let's see oh i got one on okay I'm trying let's to pull them oh this, there we go this is an intense lighting situation holy here holy cow that's gonna be okay look at this look at this here's another one okay there's more lights we got this is nice. You know what, for the price, I'm glad they left this. We got a suspension cord for the ceiling. That's awesome. And look what we have here. Boom. Another row of lights. Oh, it gets so much brighter in here. Light. Okay. I know where we're gonna put the, the C-clamp. <laughs> Hold a second, look at this. Do not sell. You see that? Yeah. Do not sell. That had to be for the arch. Oh, we got the filing cabinet. The filing cabinet? All right, let's see. Let's see. What is it? Oh, it's gutters. It's gutters. Yes. Yes. That's more gutters I don't have to buy when we build a storage unit facility. So George and I's plan actually is to build, and um, you guys may think this is funny, but we've had such negative experiences with U-Haul, we are going to build a storage unit facility on top of our own storage and warehouse space. And it's gonna be called, da -da -da -da. Christian, what would you call it? I have no idea. We're gonna call it u hails <laughs> We're original with the names. Okay, something here, old pencil sharpener. Christian, tell me, what's an old pencil sharpener like this worth? I don't know. We're looking at probably forty to fifty dollars right there. Already recouping money. Here is our main breaker box. Red Robin. Does that say Robin? Yeah, that says Robin, right? I think so. Red Robin. And what's that one say? The Burrows. Yeah. Okay. Burrows. So that's. Those are numbers. The Burrows aren't even on. What's the Burrows? I don't know. Outlets by the tools, overhead, overhead, outlets, outlets. I know. The whole world may explode. I don't even know what that is. Maybe I should, maybe I should leave it off. I don't know. My biggest question is, he had all these sheep out there. How is he watering them? 
There's no natural source of water. There's no well yet. So our next step is to actually drill a well. When I'm on the way driving to Florida, George and I are going to be calling contractors to drill a well so we can get water out here. Look at this. We got a shelf. This is our first shelf for, for eBay stuff, Christian. Uh, that might not do very good for... No? I mean, the totes are much bigger than that shelf. Our first shelf for burning in the burn pile, <laughs> Christian. Okay, some random... Just randomness. Belts. Clothes pins. Seal up your chips after you're done eating them. Yeah, yeah, that's always good. Fly trap, fly ribbon, which he has all over here. But he also had sheep here. Anytime you have animals, you're going to have flies. Um, ba -ba -da -da. Here's the extra sheets. You know what? George was asking for one of these. George was actually asking. This is our entire property line from here. This is where we started the video out here to here to here. Storage units will be able to go right in there. She was actually asking for some of these. To keep as a memento so kind of lid there instant instant virgoto water sign on bowl i don't even smell it bro i dare you to smell it what's it smell like I can't smell anything oh that's okay then i thought it would smell bad but i didn't we got a bench this is kind of nice we could set this up as a work table for yeah, gray stuff. Throw one of those pieces of plywood over there on it. Yeah, there you go. So we don't have any tables yet. I mean, we basically, we sold almost all of our tables at the warehouse sale as well. So we really are starting all brand new. We need tables, we need shelves, we need more tables, we need more shelves. Uh, oh, guess what? You throw that on there? Look at this, Christian. <laughs> Look at this. That was a heavy piece of wood. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice table right there. Ready to work. Check that out. First table here at the new warehouse. That's that's legendary, man. This is <laughs> this is epic. What the hell's first stuff? Man, that, that's gonna be one heavy that? table. That's gonna be a heavy like, table. You guys, you and patients are like, what are we gonna do? What are we? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. What are we gonna do? And now we're here. We got an intelligent fence. You know what this is? It's an electric fence. This is the electric fence. You thinking what I'm thinking? You're plugging it in? I don't want any intruders coming on the new warehouse space. Oh my goodness. You know, one of, one of the rough things with the old warehouse was we had homeless all over. Now, not an issue with homeless all over. The issue is theft. And now we have our very own security system. Patience is actually screaming for us. Hey! What? The it's the toilet won't flush. What do you mean the toilet won't flush? No, I just went pee and I can't flush the toilet. This is the warehouse bathroom. You mean like it, did you jiggle the handle? Yeah, I jiggled the handle. What's it doing? It's just nothing. There's no water. She dry. There's no water at all? No. Try the sink. No water. No, the sink won't even turn on. You gotta be kidding me. Do you think Marilyn shut the water off on us? Yeah, I do. Oh my goodness. The landowner. You know you're gonna have to go down to the creek and flush that thing. No, no. There's a creek over to the side. You're not leaving that in there to fester. Oh, yeah. You're taking a bucket and you're gonna have to dump it in there. This is ridiculous. This is my life at the warehouse. This, this oh is, re don't you laugh, you're the one that. All right, I want, I want to promise you guys, if you come to the actual auction, let's call, let's call, we'll get porter potties. We're not gonna let the landlord get the best of us here. Let's call, we'll get porter potties for the auction and let's go flush the toilet. You should be carrying this. I can't it weighs more than I do. This <laughs> warehouse situation seems to be going down the drain. All right, um, we can call the sheriff. 
we can get a hold of my lawyer to get a hold of her lawyer. This is just getting ridiculous. We did some searching. We did some calling. We did some investigating. Look at this here. You're never going to believe this. Look at this here. That is right there. Disconnection. How the hails? How the hails do you owe nine hundred eighty-six dollars and eighty-five cents on a facility where the only thing that happens is we flush the toilet? That's it. That's it. I'm going to tell you how it gets that high. It gets that high because she stopped paying long ago and then it compounded and compounded and compounded. And I don't doubt that any second, any day now, my power is going to shut off as well. This is getting out of control. What do you think of this garage door? Leads to? <laughs> I think it'll just lift open. Really? Nope. Dude, I don't know. Is it locked on the outside? How do you? It might be locked on the outside. Think so? Let me try it. <sighs> okay, that's really odd. There's no garage door opener. Okay, we definitely have to figure this out. We'll have to figure that out. Oh, you notice? You notice we don't have the smell of the wastewater plant anymore? Oh yeah. We always had that. We had that west wind coming from the wastewater plant and the warehouse stunk like crazy. Look at this, we got extension cords. Nice. That's kind of nice. We got an AC unit right here. Now this wall, we're gonna have to take a peek at this, but I have a feeling one of the very first things you and I are gonna do when I get back from Florida. Break it down. Is we're gonna tear this wall yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fun. We got a few drums here. Dude. Look at those drums. I know how you have water. Look. Look at oh, this. he brought barrels of water. Look at this. This was to clean himself up. He had water right there. Oh, he's a, bu he, he's he a bucket it, below. He had, a, had it in a barrel. And then there's a bucket here. And they probably just pitched the water out the door. Paper towels. Look at that. That's yep. pretty inventive. Me, I just draw a well and actually get water. <laughs> All right, I think this was the office. And there should be lights, right? Okay, there's one light. Um, maybe lights. There's a light. Okay, so pretty much a brand new AC unit. A shelving system that he built as well. And again, he abandoned all this stuff, so we own it now. You think you could use these shelves? You know what we might do? What? These are probably attached to the wall right now. We'll take this, when we knock these walls out, we'll, we'll keep all the two by fours. We don't want to waste any two by fours, but we'll knock this wall out. We'll take this and we'll put it in the three-sided pole barn. And unless, unless you think this can become a bathroom, but even if it becomes a bathroom, that will, what we'll do is we'll throw the walls back up. For the time being, we actually, we need the space. Windows unlocked. Man, that can't be good. We can't have unlocked windows. Man. So, because I know a guy who knows how to break into warehouse spaces, key yeah. windows. <laughs> uh, I know a few people. Uh, yeah, uh, me, you, Patience, George, Gwen, Tammy. The one guy that broke in. Uh, Mitch. Mitch. Yeah, Mitch. So <laughs> we'll knock we'll knock this out. And what that'll do is here, let's let's we'll go over here. And then we're gonna knock that whole corner out. Okay? So this whole corner will come out. We'll save all the wood. You can see the wood up on the rafters. But what that's gonna do is open up this entire space. So with us having electric right now, we're gonna run space heaters until we actually get the other utilities on the property. So this, this room is so well insulated. Look, these are two by eights. This here is a two by eight. And I have no doubt he insulated everything. It's so well insulated. I think we're gonna have a lot of good heat in here. The thing we have to really figure out is how to open up that garage door. Let's go outside and see if we can figure it out. 
it gets more interesting. Just look up there. Windows are open in the adjacent building. All the security cameras have been pulled. The monitor has been pulled. Who the hails would do such a thing? I've been trying to get a hold of Harold on 4 a.m. and I'm gonna, I'm sending, you know where she lives? She's still up on like Valley View? Yes. All right, I'm sending a deputy out there to try to get a hold of her. Okay, so that was, officer said that he's trying to get a hold of Marilyn, but they're sending a deputy because Marilyn hasn't responded to anything. You have a problem with squatters or anything here? Uh, no, people, uh, I've got a lot of stuff in here. I just didn't know people had broken in the past. Well, right? they have. I saw actually. mattresses, that's why I was. We've had people living in here. Well, Jeremy buys storage units, so. Okay. You're able to scoot that? I'm not going to get through here with this bag. <laughs> if you don't mind, I appreciate it. Pallet jack. Yeah, there we go. I, so, this is where my camera is sitting. It was sitting on this. This is all my stuff. Okay. It's directly facing this. This one's missing. Then I went upstairs to check on the other ones. All right. Well, let me show you this too. This is actually where the DVR and the TV were. I'm going to try to the My TV and DVR were sitting right there. My yeah, building's so fine. All right, cool. Well, just uh, the security so isn't on it just anymore. Here, right. So what, what's your plan for security now? Just until camera the system, another camera right. system. Do you have an alarm on the building? No, I don't even have a key to get in the building. Oh, that's so part still, of litigation. Still got that she mess. literally has me locked out illegally. I have to break in um, legally every time to get if in. If you get this figured out, like beyond court and everything, my best advice, like get an alarm system would help. Yep. Uh, cameras are better than an alarm system, but yep. if you get an alarm system, contact our dispatch, let them know, hey, got an alarm system, like this is the, the you know, give them like three people to call. Yep. Because a lot of times, especially on night shift, we get like, you know, alarm drops or whatever. And yep. We have no key holders or no one to call or they're outdated numbers. So just like stay on top of that. Yep. But I'd recommend it. So obviously you guys got a lot going on with, you know, this whole mess in court, it sounds like. Yeah, so. and it is a big mess. It is a huge um, mess. But there's no way that that's a coincidence. It's just the three cameras that are all in our stuff. No, are that's, missing. yeah. I mean, none of my it's, stuff is touched and two cameras that were sitting right beside the DVR. Right, so. especially since, you know, you two are working together or whatever, you know, so and it happens to face that way, so. Well, the, what I can, what we think and what we can prove, obviously, are two different things. Right. So let me do some digging, see what I can work on. Like I said, I, it, I don't suspect that she physically did it. It doesn't sound like you do either, but um, she might know. She or, knows. Yeah. Some, her niece knows some shady people. Christian, how do you open it? <laughs> they had it open at the auction. Oh wait, 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 wait. Why would it open from out here, but it didn't budge in there? Wait, wait, what? No joke. All I did. Did we go inside and try to open it again? Yeah, yeah, come inside and let's see if it will open, okay? Let's close it. They were closing it with this rope. You saw me trying to open it, right? Like, what did you do? Why is it I didn't do now? anything different. You didn't do anything? No. Nothing. Nothing. Like, when the camera was off, you didn't do anything behind my back? No, not at all. Now it's opening. So this may seem like a silly thing to a lot of people when you're talking about warehouse space, but this big opening is huge for us. We can back the truck up. As a matter of fact, most standard doors are, you know, just, I forget what the height is. Uh, I don't know, it's like 82 or I might be completely and totally off. But us getting through taller things through this door is huge, absolutely huge for us because sometimes when we need storage space, we're actually confined by those spaces because we can't get the big things in those spaces. This allows us to have furniture. This allows us to have, I mean, really as big as we can, we can go as big as the door opening. Now that we can actually get the door open. It's like they tried to run them down. These three things they tried to steal. They yeah, these were taken out of the warehouse. Try it! Did he call you guys? He called me. Okay. The security systems caught them. They staged these three items out here Friday night. They definitely went inside again, came back out. Brian probably pulled up. They probably ran. And Brian probably went after them. Once he saw the cameras, he probably freaked and... Oh, that would make sense for sure. And ran. And then... And then Brian and showed up. Out here out front, huh? <laughs> okay, well, hopefully they catch him, but I'm fairly certain we know who it is, so...
Hold on. Let me boil it up too, so you get the butters. He actually put the security cam in there. That's in the toilet, dude. Your camera's in the toilet. Is that him? That's him. There he is. We just found him on Facebook. There he is. Mitch. Wasn't he wearing the same outfit? Arnholt. Red shirt, though. That's him. Definitely him. There's our, there's our thief. There's our burglar. I would have loved to have caught him. We better get to the toilet. Sorry, Barbara. All right. There is. is it in there? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he sure did. There it is. It's still working. Still working. It's waterproof. Oh my Actually, goodness. they do say it's waterproof when you buy it, so. P-proof, too. Oh, there he is. There's good old Mitch. You spend $115,500 on a piece of property and you get a file cabinet, one can't help but wonder what's left inside. Now it's time for us to take a look. Christian, should I go top, middle, or bottom? I think you should go top first. Top it is, here we go. You are not ready for this. I'm not ready for the top. Top shelf, look at that. He put a top shelf along all the windows too. <laughs> should we keep, what if we, what if we keep the top shelves and we put different um, super cool items from storage units up on the top shelf? That'd like, be kind of cool. Like momentous, like this was the unit, like Rosie's Bush or, you know, safes that we cracked open. See, I don't know if safes are going to fit up there. All right. Oh, I'm going to leave that up to you. You've got the engineering <laughs> mind. You figure out how we get safes up there. And... I thought, you, I, thought it was I thought I wasn't ready for this. You weren't. It's bungees. You weren't ready for that. Bungee, 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 bungee. So we got three bungees. Okay, which one do you want now? Let's go middle next. Middle. You know who that reminds me of? Malcolm. Okay, I wasn't thinking Malcolm. I was thinking the, the second book written on coin pushing. I was oh. thinking, you know, your lucky charm. She led us astray. <laughs> and... There you go. Just Nothing like, in the middle. Just that like the middle. proves. That proves. Always go left. Left is best. And nada. Nothing. Man. We do have a giant roll of this queen though. Giant roll of plastic. Right by you. You know that. what? I bet you. You know what these are? What, things you wrap up. Those things that you have uh, way down the concrete. Well, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That you sure. wrap things like that. Those in there. What is it? I think a wall. Think no, they were trash right, bags? Right. They're trash bags. Are they really? Yeah, these are giant trash bags. No joke. Oh, that, we need trash bags. Look at this. We finally got... That's not safe. Dude, this safe. Oh. I ripped a hole in before. No, not only is it a giant trash bag, it's also a poncho. <laughs> Look at that, poncho. And, and, we've been, we've been needing these bad, man. We've been needing these back. Yes, we have. We're playing hide and seek in the dark. <laughs> you never find me. I'm out with the garbage. So that's a big bonus there too. All these little gems are all bonuses when you spend this kind of money on a, on a piece of property. This is kind of nice. This kind of helps it all come together. And for us to be able to come out here before we go to Florida and kind of see and wrap our minds around what we need to do. Oops. Dropping stuff already. First thing we need to do, water. Water to wash, water to flush. Then we gotta figure out where we're gonna flush it to. Uh, Jeremy wants to know if you're gonna call him. She said no. Nope. Okay, he wants to talk to you, is that okay? <laughs> Trying to figure that out exactly right now. Okay, so there's a court order. I'm away. If you turn utilities back on, I would be out on June 7th. She did not have utilities back on. And that was based on a reasonable amount of time after the utilities were turned back on. She's in contempt of court, and that has been filed. And therefore, I have not left based on that court order. Well, she 
filed a contempt against you. Yes, she did. She filed sanctions yesterday. I'm aware. I'm looking at it right now. Okay, so so this is a civil issue. We are not trespassing. We are still legal tenants based on, and so are my employees of our legal tenants. So there is no such thing as a no trespass on a legal tenant. Listen, that would be for a listen Jeremy, 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 listen, listen. At, at this point, until something's ruled on, you guys are not allowed here. The and last... You have a ruling in your hands that says... That Jeremy, I'm not going to argue with you. Here we go again. Officer trying to be a judge. She says all of this stuff about the court order. Oh, I'm a legal tenant until I am legally evicted. Until a judge says that I'm trespassing. I mean, my intention is my intention is to file trespassing charges on you guys. But I'm my guess is that after this is probably gonna you guys will have to leave when we leave. Christian and I are actually walking the property line right now, and there's a there's a farm fence or gate on every single side of the the giant square. We're guessing that this key goes to all these locks. We got, oh, look at that. Look at that, they do. So this key is locked to that one. There's two more locks we have to check. Let's go for a little walk. You got to figure somehow, some way, Marilyn is beyond giving her lawyer a run for his money. Because when my employees show back up to the actual warehouse, this is what Marilyn did. We're at the warehouse. We're going to try to get some posters that Jeremy bought. But the lock doesn't work. I actually put they, it right this time. They also actually... Got our way where we got in up. They bore that up. It's weird because they flipped up. They flipped around the window. It was, it's the opposite way that it used to be. Yeah. So they definitely pulled it out. There's like a whole bunch of cardboard stuff right here. I don't know. I don't know. Maryland's actually over there right now. And then they definitely threw like all of the stuff out here. Yeah. I don't even know whose stuff this is. No, I love it. I don't even know where this came from. I don't know what that stuff is. I mean, nothing's really changed. It still looks like this. It's still unlocked, but it's latched on the inside. And there's just well, stuff everywhere. Well, we can't get in anymore. No. They changed the locks again. <laughs> this one is not as easy as the other. The lock is on the other side, and I, I can't see it, but look at that. Look at that. Yep. It Got opens. it. Got it. Got it. Oh, I love it. I love it. And you know what I love most? What do you love most? No Maryland. Nope. No Maryland. My neighbors are businesses, so I can run my business without any interference. They're not going to want to interfere with me. I'm not going to want to interfere with them. One more lock to check. Yeah, last one. And yes. Yes. They're all the same. I love it. Not a single lock has locked me out. This has got to be one of the biggest blessings of 2021. Who the hails knows what God has in store for 2022.